when we mention the names of Hollywood celebrities such as Drew Barrymore, Jessica Biel, Zena Miller, or tennis star Maria Sharapova, or the, even the first lady Michelle Obama. We sure many people are familiar with these names, or some of you may even a fan of one of these people. The reasons we mention all those names because they are customers of this young talented designer, Takun Panichikun. He's Thai. He's in his thirties, but he made a worldwide hit when the first lady Michelle Obama chose to wear his brand Takun in 2009, the night her husband Barack Obama was picked to run for the president. He recently visited Thailand to be a speaker in a Takun talk hosted by the government's Department of Export Promotion. He shared his experiences and techniques in making his brand successful among celebrities and A-list fashionista in the U.S. It's really to be perceptive of, of the needs of, of, of the consumer, mm -hmm. but at the same time to balance that with with what you want to do artistically. So, you know, it's a really fine balance to be artistic and, and commercial, you know, and so I think that the important thing is to, to sort of have that, that right balance to know that, you know, um, your clothes are, are expressed in, in an artistic way, but then are, are commercially viable. Okay, you made a hit when Michelle Obama decided to wear your clothes, am I right, yes, correct? Yes. Okay, what are the secrets um, behind like the successful of your brand? What's the secret behind the success of the brand? Yeah. Ah, I, I, you know, I, I mean, I think that it's just, I think that it's just, uh, it gained popularity because I think that people really responded to the, the, the use of color, the use of prints, the, um, the cut of the clothes. I think that what I do is I try to bring in an artistic uh, uh, quality to, to everyday clothes. You know, I think that clothes have to be worn, mm -hmm. but they can still be artistic as well. So I think that that's, that's the balance. I think that's what resonates. Do you think that Thai designers are capable of competing in international stage? I think that, yeah, absolutely. I think that anyone is, is capable. I think certainly Thai designers are capable. I think that, mm -hmm. you know, Thais have a certain sense of style, but I think mm -hmm. that also, you know, you, you sort of have to, fashion is a hard game. I think that if you want to compete, you really have to, to, to sort of look uh, at, the, at the landscape and really figure out what it is that's going to make you stand out. Though he has already reached quite a successful step, he still keeps building his brand by launching more projects. I'm, you know, building uh, my brand. I'm continuing to grow. You know, we just launched a, a secondary collection mm -hmm. that, uh, you know, lower price uh, mar uh, point. So I'm really building that as well, and it's it's really exciting because I'm able to reach a bigger market mm -hmm. with that. And then I'm also creative director for uh, a fine jewelry company in uh, in Japan called Tasaki, and it's a it's a company that is known for pearls and then beautiful diamonds. And so I'm. Uh, I'm, I'm designing jewelry, which I find really exciting as well. Okay, what are some other projects that you plan to do in the future? I, um, you know, I would love to open up a store. A store, like yeah. your own store, like worldwide? A flagship store, you know, and maybe then follow up with a couple of other stores. I think that, you know, it's about making the brand a bit more lifestyle. Mm -hmm. When asked the reasons he decided to be a speaker for Department of Export Promotion and help Thai designers in branding, he simply answered. It's a, it's a way for me to give back as well to the community. I think that, you know, that the Thai people are so proud and, and I'm happy to be you know, invited to, 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 to help the country because I think that you know, there is an enormous uh, potential, I think, for, for the country. And so I want to give back and, and do my part. You know, I think that fashion is such a, it's a really wonderful creative industry and, and you know, and, uh, but also want to be able to contribute in some way to help, uh, to help the young generation kind of figure out what they want to do and try to sort of, you know, be sort of a good influence for them as well. Takun can be a good role model for a young Asian designer who would love to pursue the career in the international stages. Otto Wee Tang Mi Sang, ASEAN TV.